Hello everyone, this is Dan from Cyber Vigilance, and this is part three of Threat Hunting and Incident Response. In this video, I'll be walking you through adversary emulation with Mita Caldera, which is a red team tool to emulate a remote adversary. In this video, it's going to be split in two parts, as there's a lot to cover and it'll be much easier to digest this way. So I have two VMs set up, a Kali Linux machine that will be acting as my remote adversary, and I'm going to simulate attack on my Windows VM that has a Sentinel-1 agent installed on it that's connected to my management console. My current policy for my demo environment is on detect detect. I would not recommend using this policy in a production environment as devices that are connected to your test machine could be infected by accident. So I only use detect detect on a demo environment that is not connected to your production environment. With anything you install, you install Caldera at your own risk. It is an open source tool, but it doesn't mean that it's not gonna potentially harm your device. If you're wondering how to install and configure Caldera, I strongly recommend that you watch this video on Linode, which talks through the installation and configuration process of Caldera. You can click on the info bar at the top or click the link in the description. When the demo environment is set up and your connection with your target device is established, we can start our threat emulation. We'll head over to operations, press create operation, call this test one. And the adversary that we're gonna choose is LS 2.0. So I'm choosing LS 2.0 as my adversary. The reason for this is that there's a Mimikatz variant built, built in PowerShell, um, which gets detected by the Sentinel-1 console. So we'll start that. I'm going to commence this attack now. I'll cut up some of the video to speed up the process. And once your attack is finished, I'll bring your attention to the Incidents tab on the Management Console. So once your remote adversary test has finished, um, finished executing, we'll come to the Incidents tab here and we'll click on PowerShell EXE. So PowerView is the um, exploit before to um, discover local hosts. Uh, we won't be focusing on that. Well, we're going to focus on the PowerShell EXE because of the behavioral indicators. Now, it's already been flagged as malicious, so we, we know for certain that this can cause damage to our machine. We'll go into threat details. You can see on the right here, um, blocked read access to LSAS, which is um, that of a, a Mimikatz instance attempts to read sensitive information from LSAS. Um, you can see the uh, TTPs below it. So we'll actually we'll middle, middle click that and you can go into um, the MITRE ATT&CK website and you now have a full description of OS credential dumping through LSAS memory. Um, so you can look through this as well. So to mitigate the malicious processes, we're gonna click on the boxes next to them, press through actions, mitigation action, I'm going to go through kill to quarantine. I'm not going to do remediate as all files and system changes. I don't need to worry about that because it's only to, it's only to do with reconnaissance. So we're going to press apply and mark it as true positive. And now this has happened instantly. Um, the GUI takes a couple seconds to refresh before we can actually see it. And if we go into our Windows VM, you can see we're already getting notifications for um, for threats being mitigated. And there you go, the threats have been fully mitigated and the GUI is updated, and that's how to mitigate those threats. So we already know that Mimikatz is malicious. Now, if you wanted to find something that was less like blatantly malicious and you wanted something that was, get, for instance, getting reconnaissance on your machine, um, just like if um, a hacking group were to enter your enterprise and gain reconnaissance first before actually applying any damage, um, we're gonna cover that in the next video. Um, where we're going to configure deep visibility and star rules to detect screen captures from a remote adversary. So thank you for watching.